This is part two in the creation of the Idea Journal. This Idea Journal was inspired by Sharon over at Texture Junkies. She prepared one for herself in a collab we did together. I've linked her video in the description below. I linked it last week, but forgot to mention her in the voiceover. So I wanted to make sure that I gave her the kudos she deserves for this particular project. In this video, we're going to decorate the inside front and inside back cover by creating a couple of pockets. My name is Peg, and I call my channel to Old Crows Mixed Media. I try to experiment and do a lot of different things. If you like that, please subscribe, and of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. If you would like to check out my blog, you can find it over at, on the website. Instagram and Facebook are the same. So let's get started in decorating the inside front cover. I'm just measuring right now to determine what size I should cut to create this fold over type pocket. I will be using a file folder to create these pockets. I am cutting this at two and three quarter inches by six inches, and I will be cutting two pieces for this first pocket. We're gonna make a gusseted pocket first with a little accordion fold in it. So two and three quarter inches by six inches. I'm folding this flap over. I just folded it to the eye. It worked out to be um, inch and a quarter fold over. And I want to score that or kind of really push it down with my bone folder. And then I'm just lining up the other two and three quarter by six inch piece and marking where it falls. I put it up underneath that fold and then mark it. That will be where we'll fold the bottom. So I take that to the scoreboard and I'm going to score a line right where I marked and then another one quarter inch away from it. This creates the little gusset. To adhere that second piece to our first, I'm using double-sided tape. And I'm just putting two strips right here on that little folded over piece. And that will stick right here. I'm going to paper clip it in to show you. Fold in. And then we have the little flap over. I want to round off the corners of that flap. And now we have the basic pocket construction. So to create that gusset, we have about four and a half inches that we need to fill. Now let's cut that accordion fold. We will grab the frisker for, to cut the paper and we're going to measure four and a half inches for our height and I chose about three and a half inches for the width. So four and a half by three and a half is what I chose to make this accordion. Now we'll take this to the scoreboard and we will score every quarter of an inch. And now we have our two little side pieces. So we're just going to fold one way, back the other, one, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that creates this little accordion fold. It'll fit nicely, glue nicely right there on the side, and that will construct our first pocket. Now for the second pocket, we're just going to cut one long rectangle. I'm going to show you how that's going to fit on the inside back first. So that will fit nicely there. Now for the second pocket, we're just going to cut one long rectangle. And I just cut it the size of the file folder. Just going to fold that over and we'll create a little waterfall paper feature inside this one. I'm just scoring those lines, and we'll set those aside. Now we want to 
color these so they fit in nicely with the book. So I'm laying down some yellow ochre first on the gel press. And I have that um, stencil that I used on one of the file folders for the tabs, and I just stenciled that onto that yellow ochre. And I'm going to use a little mint green here in the acrylic paint just to kind of create that pantina look. And let's see how how that works. We'll pull those two colors up first. And I'm just using the, the gel press to add the color. And now let's come back with some of that burnt umber or raw umber. and add some darkness onto these. Let's just do the other side. Just pulled in a piece of cardboard and added some lines. I'm going to put this deli paper over over the top of it and keep the integrity of the front so I'm not running that um, brayer over the front that I already have colored. And just heat this up, dry it, speed the drying process with the heat gun. decided I wanted to cover more of that manila, so I pulled out my black stays on ink pad. I'm just going to darken this up just a bit more. Go around the outside edges, kind of cover any area that appeared to be too light. And now back with the vintage photo, and I'm just going over the whole thing with the vintage photo. And I think I'm happy with that now. So I want to create some little buttons, and I've chosen to do that out of a toilet paper roll. I've taken the toilet paper roll, cut it in half, put it inside a texture plate, and ran it through my Big Shot. Once I have that um, completed through the Big Shot, I took an ink pad and just highlighted what was embossed. And now I've cut out two little one-inch circles. I'm going to glue those together and poke a hole through the center of them and insert a brad into the center of those. And I think I decided it was easier to glue the two together first, then poke the hole through. But I did it both ways. I poked holes individually through them and then glue them and then on the second one I glued them together and poked the hole through after they were glued together and that actually worked out to be easier. Now let's insert that brand So we've created our little closures with the toilet paper roll 
cutting into one inch circles and installing the brad. So let's install it on the piece now or on the little pocket. Just poked a hole where I wanted it to rest and we'll just insert it by opening up that brad. So now to create the little waterfall folder or waterfall for the other pocket. I just stapled some sheets of coffee stained paper together and then tore off the bottom so one rested slightly higher than the one below it. And that creates that little watercolor effect. I'm just going to ink around the outside edges and we will have that to put down in the center of the fold over pocket. Just glue that down right there. Take some of the toilet paper roll that we embossed, cut a piece to cover up those staples and we'll just glue that down as a little header on that waterfall notepad. And now that folds over and I just used a piece of twine to tie those two little tabs or the two little one inch circles together. That will keep that closed. So that now is glued down inside the front cover. So let's get this accordion folder put together and we will glue that down inside the back. So I had inked over that tape, but we pull that off and stick that down now. Or not inked over it, I would inked over it and painted over it. So now I'm going to use that double-sided tape, stick that down on the two outside edges of each little accordion fold that we created. And pull that tape off. Just stick it down. So let's get both of them taped up. the sticky side exposed and I'm just going to line that up on the edge and fold it over. I found that's the easiest way for me to get it on there without messing it up. Now we'll push that down, pull the sticky off I'm struggling a little bit. I don't want to miss this. So I'm just going to kind of let it grab at the bottom and then fold, go ahead and fold it up. And there we have that little accordion fold. Now it probably would have been prudent to go ahead and put our, our little one inch circle tab closures on first, but as you can see, here we are, I didn't. So now we are gonna have to reach down inside there to open up that tab, but it is doable. So let's grab the toilet paper roll again and get our four one inch circles punched out. And 
we'll glue those together and poke a hole through the center of them. I think it's probably important to to comment that when you're using your hole punches on these toilet paper rolls to avoid the seam, it gets bound up in there if if you don't. So I punched those through, adhered, taken the brads, adhered them just like we did on the first, and now we'll just glue this down. And we have completed our two inside pockets. So the next step is going to be decorating up these tabs that we've created. We have them not gessoed. We have the texture paste on them to create some texture. And video number three will be decorating those tabs to get ready to bind. So I hope you're enjoying. Follow me along. We have the two pockets on the inside front and inside back completed in this video. So I appreciate you being here. Your comments and likes are always appreciated. So I'll see you in video three. Bye for now.